Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're going to be disabling the root account. Now, why would I do that? Well, the root account is, you know, when someone has access to it, they can do whatever they want. It's so like if I want to do uh, apt update, it's not going to let me, I have to do sudo and I have to know my password for sudo and all of that. But if I want to delete, say, the root folder, by the way, never do this. I can't. It's not going to let me do it for a number of reasons. And, uh, you know, I have no root access. And because I don't know the password to root, I'm not able to get in. Well, if someone has root enabled, you know, I can get access. I can delete those folders. I can mess with the programs. So your last line of defense for your Linux system is to disable root. That doesn't mean uh, disabling all kinds of root access. Like I said, you can still use sudo. So I can still do sudo apt update because my user has access to sudo, but I can't do, you know, su s or whatever and log in and tinker with files. Like I can't do that with the root disabled. So to disable root, and if you're using Ubuntu, you might already have it disabled, but you know, I always turn it back on. So what you need to do is you need to do sudo s if you don't have access to the root password, you don't remember it, or you can just do su and log in with your root password. So from here, you can just do this command here. Now pass wd dash l root is going to scramble everything. And uh, then if I log out and do su again, enter the password I usually use you'll notice that I no longer have access to root. So another way to fix this, one second here, you guys. So if you don't want to scramble the root, you can also just lock it entirely. And you do that by entering this command here, and that's user mod dash p exclamation point root. And when you do that, we exit, and then I do sue again again it's not going to work it'll say authentication failure and i'll no longer have access and that means that no matter what i try to do there are certain things on this computer that i cannot do yes you can get around it with sudo s but the thing about that and the beauty of that is that when you set up your system you're setting up certain users to access sudo and certain users to not access it so by only giving user sudo access that you trust those people can interact with the system or your server or whatever, and others can't. And that's a lot safer and uh, definitely one of the best practices. Please check out the link in the description below. I also go over how to turn it back on if you forget uh, how to turn your root back on and some best practices. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.